guys and welcome back to the next episode of Cute Craft. In the last one, I made a golden egg and it blew up my house. And what came from it was a tiny version of me. Now I don't know where the tiny version of me is. I left it downstairs, but I don't know if it's still there. Oh, yep, there she is, me. So I guess you kind of just live here now? I'm not really sure what I do with her. She's adorable, but I don't know if I can bring her upstairs through the elevator or what. Maybe she just lives here now. And I don't think I can, oh, I was just gonna say, I don't think I can pick her up, but I can. <laughs> Here she is, the tiny version of me. So let's go upstairs with her, and I'm gonna put her in my bedroom, actually. It's probably the safest place for her, and probably the most enjoyable room. So here you go, mini me. Enjoy the bedroom. I'll open the door so you can go to the bathroom if you like. Are you okay? She kind of just stood there, like she doesn't know what to do. Well, that was terrifying. I didn't like that. Hmm, I am gonna go make somebody else a golden egg. I think that would be so funny to do. So I'm gonna take my gold and hopefully I have some more gold downstairs. This could be a great prank. Okay, oh, we do actually have quite a lot of gold. So let's make a golden egg. I need to go back outside and get another egg because I lost my eggs when the golden egg exploded. Oh no, there's a creeper. Okay, that wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. He was a firework creeper. I keep forgetting the creepers in this game are cute. They're not evil. They don't kill you. I'm gonna get some eggs. Yeah, there we go. Thank you for your donations. And let's make a golden egg. We could make two, actually. Two of these terrifying golden eggs. I should also make a chest. And I'm just gonna go put these outside of someone's house with no context. I'm just gonna put a chest down. No context at all. And they're gonna be like, what the heck is this? And then they'll open it. And well, they'll probably get the shock of their life. Just like I did. Let's go on my hippogriff. Cause I haven't actually flown on him. Wait, hello? What are you doing here? He did not look friendly. Wait, who are you? Demon cat. Well, you don't sound friendly either. So I'm just gonna leave you to it. Leave you to your demon ways. Let's go get on my hippogriff. Hey boy, how are you? I think we need a stick to command him. Oh, he's getting right up into my face. And we can tell him to stand up and then we can get on him and fly. <laughs> this is so fun and so quick. Okay, let's try and find somebody's house. This is also such a good way of getting around the server. I've never had this ability before and now it feels so special. I'm gonna assume that this leads to Joey's house. Oh, here we are. You know, I'm gonna give it to Joey. I've never been to his house before, so I'm just gonna leave him a chest right outside of his door. He's gonna be so confused. He has a TV that has He-Man on it and everything. Wow. Okay, let me out of the door. What is going on? His door's are cursed. Why? Here you go, Joey. A nice chest with a nice gift inside. <laughs> I can't wait to see his reaction. Okay, let's take my hippogriff on another journey. Whoa. Ah! <laughs> I just died at the amazement of Lauren's house. This is terrible. I was just saying, whoa, her house is so cool. And then I fell to my death. Oh my gosh. I'm going to have to go back and hope my hippogriff is still there. That was terrible. I guess Lauren's house is too cute. It made me fall off of my hippogriff because I was so distracted by the cuteness. But it looks like he waited for me on the bridge, which is great. So I'm just going to leave Lauren one of these chests with no context. And I really hope she opens it up. <laughs> Hopefully not in her house though. I don't want her to destroy any of her beautiful home, but it would be great if she opened it. So I'm gonna put it here. Whoa, she has a lot of rabbits. What is going on? And I'm gonna put the golden egg inside. There you go, Lauren. I hope you enjoy your gift from me. You can have a mini version of yourself. Right, let's get my hippogriff to stand up again. I'm very sorry for what happened. Sometimes he doesn't want to fly. Oh, there we go. So now I've delivered the gifts. I guess we can just explore. There are a lot of cool things to check out on Cutecraft. So I want to check out some of the scenery and maybe some of the biomes. Hopefully we come across some something different that we've maybe never seen before. Just like that, what is that? Who are you? Hello, you're so pretty. Who are you? A Pegasus. Oh, maybe we could put you on a lead and take you with us. Oh, do you like us or something? What's going on? I want a Pegasus. Okay, 
Looks like this Pegasus is coming home with me. This is so weird. I'm on a hippogriff leading a Pegasus. <laughs> I never expected this in a million years, but here we are. Whoa, we're all flying. Look at this. <laughs> this is such a quicker way to get home. Sweet. Oh gosh, I did it again. <laughs> anyway, let's take this Pegasus in here and maybe we could find out how to tame it. Hey, pretty girl. Oh my gosh, so cute. Okay, I guess you just have to tame it like a normal horse, but my Pegasus is trying to kill me. <laughs> oh my gosh, my best friends. I tamed my Pegasus. That is so cool. So you can make wingtips for your Pegasus, which I can make out of iron. Or you can make them out of gold too. Let's have a look. To make them out of gold, we need four gold. I have four gold, but I want my Pegasus to have a matching set of everything. Everything. So, okay, you can make horseshoes. So we should do that first. We're gonna make everything out of iron. Let's start with horseshoes. There we go. You can also make helmets. An iron slotted helm. I should get that. I need an emerald, which I have down here. Oh my gosh, my Pegasus is gonna be so beautiful. There we go. We have the helmet. You can make wingtips too, like this. <gasps> This is gonna look so cool. There we go, I think we've done everything. Also this tree, I actually have one of those saplings somewhere. I think we should go plant it outside. Look, it's huge. I think I got it from a four leaf clover. So I'm gonna go plant this outside cause it's to do with the unicorn mod where my Pegasus came from. I'm gonna plant it at the other side of this bridge. I'm gonna put it right here. I don't know what it does, but I guess we'll find out when it eventually grows into a giant tree. Now let's go to our Pegasus. And we can put everything on it. Hopefully it'll look really cool with all the iron armor. I really need to build some more places for my animals to stay. How do I put stuff on you? Here we go. So I don't have a saddle currently, but you can have your hooves, wings, and a helmet. Oh my goodness, you look great. I just need to get myself some horse armor for you. I didn't realize you can make horse armor, so I should go do that and get a saddle while I'm there. I need to make an iron helmet and also two pairs of leggings. And then I think we just do this, hoping it's right. Yeah, we made horse armor, cool. I also need to make a saddle, so let's see if I have any leather. I don't, which means I'm gonna have to go and kill some cows today. I didn't wanna have to do that, but it's all in the name of a saddle. So to make a saddle, we need a piece of string and also leather. Let's go kill some cows, I guess. Oh no, it's nighttime. My worst kind of time. Oh no, the rain is setting the mood for me killing my cows. I said I didn't wanna have to kill my cows and now I'm doing it. I feel like a murderer. We're in here, gonna give them their last meal before they die. Oh gosh, this is so cruel. I don't even know how much leather I need, okay. I need four pieces, which means one more has to die, and it's you! You have to die. Oh my gosh. I was one piece of leather short. I'm gonna have to go find a different cow. I don't have enough cows to kill. Oh, spider, stay away from me. Stay away from me, spider. Oh gosh, maybe I can make it in here in time. I don't think that's gonna keep a spider out. Oh no. Anyway, let's quickly put my horse armor on. Beautiful, just beautiful. And now I'm gonna take my hippogriff on a flight to find some cows to kill. There are definitely cows around here. Oh gosh, I need to stop doing that. Uh-oh, there are zombies nearby and I am low on food. Okay, I have enough leather, quick. Let's go back home, cause I don't wanna die. Let's make my saddle now and my Pegasus will be completed. Oh no, I forgot I was hungry. <laughs> I'm gonna have to slowly walk to my Pegasus. Oh dear, look how this zombie literally waited for me. And here we go, I got you a saddle. I keep sitting on it, <laughs> I don't mean to do that. Ta-da! A nice saddle for a nice Pegasus. Okay, well, I guess we just need a place for the Pegasus to live, seeing as though this is where the Hippogriff lives. So I'm gonna go and build one, and then I will get back to you when it's finished. I have finally finished my stables for my unicorns and Pegasus and all those things I'm gonna get in the future. But right now, I only have one Pegasus. So this is where my Pegasus is gonna be living. And it seems like a bunny just went in there. So the bunny is gonna live in there now. I guess. <laughs> okay, let's go get our Pegasus and move them into their new home. I don't know if it's a boy or a girl yet. Oh, wow. Wow. Wow, how is that fair? Like I said, I don't know if it's a boy or a girl. So I guess just leave a name in the comment section down below and I will choose the best name. Okay, 
dropping off my hippogriff and we are gonna take my pegasus on a ride down to their new home how exciting is this oh so where do you want to live maybe in this one there we go i want to get a bunch of different horses in the future but we are starting off today with this one so cute anyway guys this is where i'm gonna end today's episode of cute craft if you did enjoy it leave a like and i will see you guys in the next one